Welcome to the EPICS lab safety video. Please pay attention to make sure that we all have a clean and safe environment to complete all of our fantastic projects. When working with chemicals or power tools, you need to wear closed-toed shoes and safety glasses with side shields or goggles. Lab coats are provided by the fume hood for all chemical operations. Additionally, you should not have bare legs and you must tie back or secure long hair, dangling jewelry, or other clothing. If a chemical spill occurs, immediately report it to EPIC staff and refer to the safety data sheets which can be found on SharePoint. Do not store open and or unlabeled chemicals or solutions at any point. All chemicals should be labeled. Dispose of all waste chemicals and sharp objects, such as broken glass, nails, and metal pieces, in approved containers. Sharp objects should be put in a sharps-only container. Everyone makes mistakes, and from ethics we know that mistakes happen. If an accident happens, put a no admittance sign detailing the hazard. Do not move the hazard. Immediately report all accidents to the lab manager, Jorge. In the event of an injury that requires a band-aid, band-aids are located in the first aid kits in the lab. In the event of an injury beyond a band-aid, call 911 and tell the lab manager immediately. If you discover a fire or fire-related emergency, such as abnormal heating of material, hazardous gas leaks, hazardous material, or flammable liquid spill, smoke, or odor of burning, immediately activate the building fire alarm system and call 911. Here are some general lab use guidelines to follow. Laboratory facilities are for EPICS students only. EPICS students who admit non-EPICS students to the facilities will forfeit their privileges. EPICS labs are shared resources for all EPICS students and staff. It is expected that you clean up after yourself, put your tools away, and throw away any garbage. Do not move equipment. If you need something moved, contact an EPICS administrator and they will be able to help you. Lastly, no food is allowed in the labs except for the meeting rooms. Drinks with sealable lids can be brought into the labs, but cannot be placed on workbenches or computer tables. If you have any questions, please contact a TA or Jorge, and they will be happy to help.